What is up guys, Ronnie here. Welcome back to our channel, which is the best place for you to learn how to design with Canva and achieve all of your goals. So today we are talking about presentations. Yes, presentations again. I have a secret weapon for you to keep your audience super engaged when you create and deliver your presentations. So if you want to learn how to keep people not sleeping during your presentation, this is for you. If you're ready, we are starting right now. All right, so this video is titled Giffy to me, baby. Uh, this is basically for you guys to avoid a common phenomena today and already like 10 years ago. It's something that is, exists in the corporate world or in the world in general, I would say. People presenting and delivering subpar presentations because their PowerPoints or their presentation, whatever tool you're using to create them, use Canva are just plain boring. The slides are boring, the information is boring, and sometimes the delivery is also boring. So today, I want to share with you a tool which is accessible via Canva, which will help you uh, change that. So we are going from death by PowerPoint, right here, to this, super excited to follow your PowerPoint, Ronnie. So how do we do this? Well, there's a tool called Giphy in Canva. It is an integration. This is a little logo. And what is Giphy? Well, let me show you first where it is so you have to go here to the three little dots button and then you will find under the apps and integration you'll find Giphy so if you click here what you see is that Giphy is basically a library of GIFs that you can use to include in your Canva designs so this is very cool and you can search for example if you want a GIF about a cat just type cat and you will find plenty of them so it's as easy as that once you find one just click on it and it will be inserted in your current document on your current page. So I'm going to show you different ways how to use these GIFs in Canva for your presentations, for websites that you want to create in the following of this video or like the what's remaining of this video. But first, I did a little bit of research about Giphy. So who they are, where are they located and what's their mission? So first the mission, I went on Facebook and I searched for their page and it says this, animate your world. So wherever conversations are happening, Giphy makes them more expressive and entertaining, which is true. Reaction GIFs for your messages, real-time loops of culture in action, stickers for your stories, that video of your favorite quote, or creation tools for the stuff only you would think of. So we are here to make it all feel a little bit more positive, fun, and more you. This is exactly what we want to achieve with our presentations, with our Zoom calls, when we work with our colleagues, you know? So Giphy is going to help us do this. We are going to go over the different features that we can use. We will also visit the Giphy website and see how we can find some inspiration here and also bring some of that stuff directly to Canva without searching from the library. But I believe everything is accessible also via the Canva library. All right, so just a fun fact, on May 15th of last year 2020 Giphy was acquired by Facebook for a reported $400 million. So nice move, Zux, uh, because this is a profitable move, I guess. It's a real value, like Giphy and the fun it brings to the world, I believe. It's a nice acquisition for Facebook. I'm also so happy that we have this integration in Canva. And let's just jump right in and let's see how we can use Giphy in different ways to bring some fun in your Canva design, in your Canva presentation. Presentations. But the first thing you can do is to play around with text. So I have an example here. You see, this is a grandma and it says, hope you are okay. Okay, for me to find this little gif right here, I just searched the library heart plus hope. That's what I searched for. And I was searching for something with just text and maybe a little animation. So I scrolled down. I had to scroll down quite a bit, actually. But I found this little GIF right here. So I just brought this GIF into my design. But originally, my page was, I believe, this color. So I brought the GIF from Giphy. All right. It's not there anymore, but let's say this is the GIF I brought. And then what I did is to grab this color right here into Canva. So for this, I use a Chrome extension called the Color Picker. So this is just this Color Picker window right here. You don't see it because it's above the, the area I'm recording on screen, but it's called Color Picker or Eyedropper, which allows me to pick the color and then copy the hex code of this color. Another way to do this, if you don't have a color picker, if you don't want to install one, you can export this little photo with the yellow 
in Canva as a photo and then re-upload it. And then if you upload it, it will show right here under your color management thingy. It will show as a photo color. So that's another way. But me, I copied the hex code, which is this one right here. I'm going to use this color for my background. And there you go. Now you don't see the square. So my GIF is integrated with my design. So the rest of the things was I just me searching for a grandmother cartoon illustration in Canva under the elements. Just search for grandmother in cartoon. So you can go for graphics and you have a, like a selection of grandmothers. So just like in these times where the elderly people are more vulnerable because of COVID and everything, it's just a nice way to asking them, hope you're okay, letting them know you think about them so yeah you can just export this one slide into a website and send that to your grandma if she knows how to use a phone or Facebook then she'll be super happy to see that link that you send her when she will click she will open this slide and she will be oh I love my grandkids all right so another illustration of how to use giphys for bring some fun in your presentation is like this one for example so I found this gif of the yes so you can search directly here for example and say yes try to find different gifs see so there are really two types of gifs the ones that are taken from a video like all of these for example and then you have the stickers and it's similar on Giphy you see you have your normal GIFs I would say and then you have the stickers there's a sticker category here so the stickers they don't have a background which is cool because then you can start really adding these in different situations in different places and you don't have that background or maybe you don't want the background. So I recommend you search for them either on Giphy directly for something like this, something like this. So this could add a nice touch to your presentation to bring the focus here or there or on Canva as well. You could just type yes plus sticker. And normally, yes, <laughs> uh, you should see only the stickers. So from here, same process. So how do you bring that to Canva? For example, let's work with this one. Once you find one, well, simply just click on the little link right here. It says link copied to clipboard. Go back to Canva and you will need to find in under the three little dots, the more button, find your embeds. Okay, so click on that and then just paste your link here. Add to your design. All right, so now there we go. This is my GIF. And from here, I can use it. And you see some of them will have this message, double click to interact. So if you do this, now I can click on different things. I can see some suggestions of other like related GIFs directly on Giphy. And if I click on any of these, like this one, it will bring me back, it will link back to Giphy which is pretty cool. Some GIFs will be croppable, if that's a word. Like this one, for example. Initially, the GIF was a square like this one. And again, let me change the color of that background so you can really see what's going on here. It was a square shape like this one. Let me bring it here. And what I did, I double clicked on it and just like a normal element in Canva, I cropped it. And so I just crop the part that I didn't want and kept the part that I did want to keep. Once you're good to go, you just click out of it. So I positioned it here. Let me go back to my zooming out here. And what I did is to, of course, change the color of my background again. So what I can do very quickly again, use my color picker and grab this pink right here and grab the hex code. By all means, the color picker is a really nice extension. I really, really would love Canva to add it like a proper color picker. The second thing you can do is really to add the stickers. So here I showed you some text stickers, but some proper stickers, for example, these air quotes. So I just want to have a quote and I can make this bigger, for example, like something like that. OK, so where did I find these air quotes? Well, very similarly, I believe I just search for air quotes plus sticker, something like that. And you see you have very similar air quotes. And if you keep scrolling down, you'd probably find these ones as well. So two ways of searching really all the time. So you can either discover from the Giphy website, which is more, I feel appropriate for discovery because it's like you have the categories, right? You have stickers, you have artists, you have entertainment, you have different featured GIFs also. So you can discover new material there. 
and bring it to Canva. Or you can simply use the search here under the GIF library. So let's imagine you have a Zoom meeting with your team. You want to do something fun, right? So use a photo of you and your team and search for stickers that say mouse, for example, mouse sticker and you'll find all these little funny mouths like these ones and so what you can do your team can be in the canva doc and start adding some cool little mouse thingies like this on the photos and if the photo is about you and your team it's going to be even funnier so this is just a little game that you can play with your team that leverages the collaborative features of canva when different people are in the same document but also the Giphy integration. Same, similarly, you can search for googly eyes stickers. Yes, and you will find these eyes right here. You can go a little bit crazier and do things like that, for example. So like, it's really up to you. Just have some fun with this. Like spend two or three minutes at the beginning of your meeting. It will make people feel more relaxed and then jump to the meat of your meeting and just start brainstorming. Other things you can do with Giphy, which I, I really liked is these sticker integration. So these are more like effects. So I believe this one, I found it directly here in Giphy. So under stickers, I search for effects. So if you should have, and I want stickers, Giphy for, yes. So you have bubbles like this, fires. You can search for smoke effect. Let's see what comes up. Yeah, and you see this is the one that I used. So again, super simple to grab these. So if you want this one, for example, click on the link back to your design. And from here, embed, paste the link add to the design. It is really simple to use that. And because this one is transparent, you see, you could have a, a word here or a product that you want to reveal or anything really that you want to use. And so here, if I decompose this, what's going on, there is a piece of text, a text box, an effect on it. I put a neon effect and then just centering this correctly so that covers it. And then when the smoke disappears, you can see the word. So you can do similar, achieve similar effects with other types of effect GIFs that you can find in Giphy. And by all means, like everything you find on Giphy should be in the Canva library. So for example, if you find one and you cannot find it in the Canva library, what I suggest you do, let's say you want this heart, you click on it. And then you'll see here different tags. So what you can do, you copy all of these tags, just copy them, go back to Canva and you paste this, maybe you add plus sticker. So now you have filtered the stickers with these keywords and that's how you can find basically any of the keywords, any of the GIFs you find on Giphy by copying the tags. All right, going back to the presentation, you could also create a mobile first presentation, for example. So this would work very nicely on a phone format. So you can do that from scratch from the Canva homepage. So let me show you from Canva. You can start by a presentation or website. Let's see, website, mobile first website. That's the word I was looking for. A mobile first website. You start from scratch like so. Select all of these elements, copy, go back to my presentation here, my uh, mobile first website and paste them. Okay, so I am pasting this. Okay, and if I want to create kind of like a story thingy, this could be the thing. And of course, I can change the color of the background. And there we go. We have our mobile first website. It looks good. So that is if you are a kind of a free user. Now, if you're a kind of a pro user, what I could have done is just resize. I resize, I go to mobile first presentation of websites, copy and resize. Canva will create a copy of this document. There we go. So Canva actually recreates every single page. It would be better if you could actually create or select only one page. But there we go. My page is this one. This is the one I wanted to kind of bring into the mobile first website format. So that's what I wanted to show you. Now let's talk about reactions because reactions are the most classic way, the original way, I would say, for people to use GIFs. And by all means, also our video editor, Macarena, also use this and does this wonderfully. So, hey, perfect. I love how you edit our videos with the little GIFs, replacing ourselves when we make jokes. Uh, this really adds a lot of fun to videos, but it could do the same trick to uh, your presentations, for example. So what I did here, I pasted a list of the most trending uh, reactions so far. So if you search for any of these, for example, shrug, 
shrug and you type this in Giphy, you can use the hashtag if you want, then you have your shrug. Like, hey, what's going on? You know, we have Joey here from friends. We have everything here. So basically, if you want to use GIFs to make people react during your presentation or to amplify a message and generate a reaction, and that's how it becomes fun and funny, use one of the, these keywords, not just these keywords, but use a reaction keyword, an emotion keyword, like laugh or sad or shrug or yes or no. Like, you know, these kind of emotion reaction keywords, these will work best. So a few more illustrations here to show you kind of like in context, we hit 55,000 subscribers recently on the channel. So dancing guy here. So this is actually a sticker. And then I put an irregular shape here in the background to add a little bit more contrast. So that could be a very cool slide in a presentation. Again, this would work very well on a mobile first presentation. Also, guys, at this point, I think it is important that I warn you that if you use sticker GIFs in your design and if you try to download them in the MP4 format or in the GIF format, the stickers won't play at all in your download. So this video is really to show you how to use the GIFs if you are going to share your design as a presentation or as a website. But if you absolutely want your GIFs to play, for example, for a Instagram story or a Facebook story, WhatsApp story, whatever design you want to download them and the GIF to play, I'm going to show you a little workaround that I have been discovering recently so that your sticker GIF GIFs can play. So if I want to highlight one of the comments from one of our happy students on Udemy, I could do something like this. And for this, I'm going to be using my phone. So the first thing you need to do is to download the Giphy app. Once you've downloaded it, you can open it right here and you can search on the app different things. I'm going to go for stickers and simply search for happy dance happy dance i will filter by stickers and find the same sticker that i had included in my design and this is this lady right here so once you are here what you can do is to save this to your camera roll so i'm going to do that and now opening canva on my phone so this is the design let's say i want to add my dancing woman here what i can do i can go and add an element from here i'm going to add this from my uploads and upload a media from the photo library and you can see now the dancing lady here perfect so let's add her to the design. Perfect. So now I'm going to export this. So download the video MP4 download. Let's go for it. Continue. I'm going to go back to my camera roll. And there we go. We have the dancing lady. So this is how you can actually export your design with GIF stickers. If you export directly from your computer using from the Giphy integration in Canva, stickers won't play. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. I hope this video was useful. Diana created a wonderful video about how to create website with Canva. So I will leave a link here so that you can actually click on that video it's a really cool video it will show you in about 20 minutes how to create websites optimized for your phone with canva so don't miss this one and that's it for me i will see you in the next video